I ever lived in a town called Hilo, out in the Pacific Ocean. Except it's not really a town, it's a census-designated place. You know all the famous places in Hawaii are up in Oahu and Maui. This is a couple hundred miles south of there. A town carved out of the rainforest around a harbor where they brought the sugar cane down from the Hamakua coast on a railroad train to load on ships in Hilo Bay until the tsunami of 46 washed out the tracks. Now it's the seat of county government and a place where people from the big city can send the troubled child chill out for a while. I saw a roadkill out on my bike ride, but it wasn't a skunk or a squirrel, just a big humongous frog. And when you go in the kitchen late at night, what scurries off to the baseboard when you first turn on the light? It's not no cucarachas. It's compatriots of that animated lizard that sells insurance on TV. <laughs> but these ones don't stop to talk. You know, there seems to be an inordinate number of mental health-related facilities here in paradise. Drug treatment centers and massage clinics, psychologists and registered therapists and aromatherapists and the cannabis ministry and residential treatment facilities. Maybe it's because of those miniature frogs known as koki. You see, you used to be silent here at night until about 15 years ago. They imported some plants from the Caribbean and the eggs must have been in there. And they, they have natural predators in Puerto Rico, but in Hawaii they didn't. And they got out and they proliferated like Ice Nine until the entire island is plagued with this chorus of massively parallel squeaky little voices all night, every night. They sound like the birds in a Hitchcock movie. It's part of violent life now. You can hear it in the background back home on the long distance calls. Uh, and you know what? Maybe they are the birds from the Hitchcock movie. Birds who were bad. And they got reincarnated as these featherless little creeps. Maybe that's why these tree frogs are brown instead of green. Yeah, they used to be birds. Every night they climb up in the trees and sing their hopeful little song again, expecting a different result. And then they jump, and for a little while they can fly, but only downward. And that's when they must make up their minds. You know, if they can't fly, the rest of us can't sleep. And so they climb back up on the tree and do it again. What else drives people crazy here in this strategic asset of an island chain with the cover of a leisure destination? Could it be the VLF waves that they pump out to the submarines, the ones that get the do make the dolphins get lost? Or maybe it's all those radars and sonars and sniffers and scanners, or maybe just old-fashioned volcano poisons. The goddess Pele still gushes from below. Hundreds of tons of gases and particulates every day. It's worse than the Hollywood freeway. You see the surfers, you can pick up on the adrenaline buzz. And the old hippies, you can just kind of see the bewilderment even behind their brave facades. And the cruise ship people with their earnest enjoyment, the Hare Krishnas who keep to themselves, the Japanese, the Portuguese, the Mormons, and the Masons, and the native Hawaiians, even in church when they wish you peace. Still kind of wish us Yankees to go home. <laughs> wow.